All right, everyone, time to take a look at the next episode, Lord of the Pies. After two people find Chip Diller, the president of the Pi Sigma, Sigma fraternity passed out, Veronica gets hired as a photographer for the Hearst newspaper. Logan requests that Veronica stop looking into the serial rapist case, but she refuses and they fight. The Hearst Board of Trustees is going to decide whether or not to shut down the fraternities, but an important member, Selma Rose, goes missing in the middle of the party. Dino Del immediately believes that she's gone missing, asking Veronica and Keith to help. Veronica talks to one of the feminist Lilith, girl, Lilith house girls, while Keith speaks to Selma's husband. Veronica poses as a reporter to get news from Sheriff Lamb on the case. Veronica speaks to Dick, who says that Chip Diller had a Roman numeral Easter egg implanted in his anus, and Veronica suspects the Lilith house girls. Keith finds out that someone might have disappeared to get away from her husband. Veronica shows Wallace the Roman numerals, and they deduce that it is a date, and Veronica learns that a sorority house member died on that day. Veronica confronts a sorority girl about the dead member, and she implies that others believe that something happened to her. But after finding out that leaving her husband after 10 years would be beneficial to Selma, Veronica and Keith break into the Rose's house and find Selma on the couch. Selma tells the pair why she has disappeared. Mr. Rose is trying to scam her for more money and has blackmailed her with knowledge of a lesbian affair with her dog walker. Chip Diller gets into a fight with the other Pi Sigs and Veronica gets involved. However, Veronica is pulled away by a security guard hired by Logan. Veronica is angry with Logan about this, but they eventually break into silence and say I love you to each other. Sheriff arrests Mr. Rose when Selma is found in the guest house. Selma forces Mr. Rose to give a favorable settlement. Selma decides to dissolve the Greek system. Ranga discusses the girl who fell off the roof, and, att and she attempted suicide when the Pius Six mistreated her. Ranga states her belief that the little house girls faked, one faked more than one rape, and Loki becomes distraught when he sees Veronica decline his phone call. Ooh. So now let's take a look at the production of this episode. The episode was written by Dan Ruggiero, directed by Steve Gomer. Mark Ruggiero's 15th rating credit, and Gomer's fourth and final directing credit for the series. The episode features a guest appearance by Patty Hearst, a wealthy heiress and famous kidnapping victim. Series creator Rob Thomas came up with the idea for Hearst's storyline in July 2006, stating, quote, If we can get Patty Hearst to play, mem to play a board of trustees member, what if she got kidnapped? That would be a pretty great story to tell. It's not an idea we've broken, but it's up on the wall as a possibility. Hearst had recently appeared on single episode parts of Boston Common and Son of the, and Son of the Beach. Due to a miscommunication with Thomas Hearst and her agent, Hearst was booked for Veronica Mars before she knew about the guest role, with Thomas telling TV Guy that she was playing a character similar to herself. Hearst, react, Hearst described reacting to the casting news, quote, I was on the computer one day and read that I was going to be on Veronica Mars. Rob Thomas was giving an interview and happily saying, Oh yes, I'm very excited. After hearing this news, Hearst contacted her agent and jokingly asked her when the agent was planning on telling her that she would be appearing on the show. Hearst was reluctant to play a character similar to herself, commenting, quote, I never got in and done a and done a cameo as myself or anything. I wouldn't do that. Yes, the college was called Hearst, which I thought was funny, and certainly not related to publishing. <laughs> Hearst had never previously accepted roles where she was asked to play herself, saying that it was a pathetic attempt to get attention when other celebrities play themselves or characters similar to themselves. Hearst had heard of Veronica Mars and seen, never seen several episodes prior to her appearance. Nevertheless, she was only to talk to Thomas about the series and her character before agreeing to guest star, commenting that she discovered that the character's background was not extremely similar to her own life. As, quote, some of the situation is nothing like anything I've had to deal with. When writing the script, or reading the script for the first time, Hearst was amused by the fact that her character was the heiress to the Hearst Mart fortune, comparing it to Walmart. She stated, quote, When I read that in the script, I burst out laughing. It was like a spit take kind of thing. I almost fell over. When I saw that the character would become a recurring one, she responded that the idea had not come in discussions with the crew. However, she stated that she, that she would accept if given the opportunity, and she particularly enjoyed working with Kristen Bell, Enrico Colleen Tony, and Ed Bakley Jr. On the day of the episode's airing, 
I first expect the most Veronica Mars fans would not remember her kidnapping and subsequent, and subsequent events, stating, quote, I won't be a distraction for them. They can focus in on the juicy storyline. Charles Shaughnessy appears as Selma Rose's husband, Bud. The episode was, was initially written to feature a lesbian kiss between her character and Carrie Lynn Pratt's character, Haley, when the two were discovered to be having an affair. However, the CW, the network the series aired on, stepped in and decided to cut the scene before it was filmed. First reported, quote, I meet Carrie, I'm like, hello. We didn't know until we were on set we couldn't actually kiss. We were all set for that. AML TV commented that the network might have made the choice to prevent Laura of the Pies from becoming a lesbian kiss episode involving an older woman. Well, after Ellen.com called the choice bizarre. Yeah, I do think that choice is kind of bizarre. I mean, come on, it's just a kiss for crying out loud. <laughs> so, yeah. But anyway, overall, I think this episode is pretty good. And, yeah, again, I still think that Veronica is still going some things after what happened to her in the previous episode. But it looks like all may might be well. But, again, we just never know. So, yeah. So, overall, I give Lord of the Pies four marshmallows out of five. Well, anyway, tune in a bit as we take a look at the final episode of the day, Spit and Eggs. So, until then, remember everyone, the game's afoot.